It is July 20th, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. I'm old enough to remember the good old days, when I could ask ChatGPT how to build a large-yield nuclear weapon, and it'd say, sure, here's a step-by-step -step manual. But nowadays, it won't even tell you how to cook rice, because cooking is an extremely dangerous process that could result in harm to yourself and others. Many GPT-4 power users have accused its performance of degrading over time, and according to a new study, there may be some truth to that. But first, we need to talk about Llama 2, a new family of large language models released by Meta in a surprise partnership with Microsoft. Microsoft yesterday. The largest model has 70 billion parameters and a context length of 4,000 tokens. It's not quite as powerful as GPT-4 or Palm 2, but its killer feature is that it's been released with a commercial license. You can download the model and start using it right now, or play around with it on Hugging Face. And if you have an app with less than 700 million monthly active users, you can self-host the model and use it commercially, giving you near GPT-4 capabilities at a fraction of the cost compared to the OpenAI API. In addition, Meta did this release with OpenAI's BFF Microsoft, and of course you can run and find tune it on Azure Cloud. I wanted to see how it stacked up to GPT-4, as well as the new generative AI tool in Google Search. I gave all three the same challenge. Give me other ways to express the idea of Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. All three of them are very impressive in their own ways. The chat GPT response was very terse, but probably the most useful, while the Google response was shorter, but generated much faster and provided additional context and links to the web. And then finally, the Llama 2 response was the most verbose and well-written overall. But the more you use it, the more you'll find that it's not quite as sophisticated, like when comparing poetry, it's pretty clear that they have some kind of secret sauce over at OpenAI. The poetry is just far more poetic. And then when it comes to coding, Llama wasn't nearly as useful, especially with more complex programming requirements. It's not really a fair comparison though, because GPT-4 is closed and paid. When it comes to actual benchmarks on other open source models, Llama 2 is likely the best option out there. They also released a paper with a ton of technical details on how the model works, which is a lot more useful than the cryptic marketing brochures released by OpenAI. In the paper, the word safety is mentioned 299 times. One of the main ways they make it safer is with reinforcement learning from human feedback, where actual humans rank the outputs to lobotomize the AI so it won't do bad things. What's kind of disappointing, though, is that I thought by now we'd all be in the singularity, or at the very least, AI would have taken over and terminated everybody. But yet here I am, still making videos about JavaScript frameworks, and traffic to the ChatGPT site actually declined for the first time by 10% last month. And another paper just dropped talking about how the performance of ChatGPT varies over time. When it comes to code generation, they found that results became increasingly more verbose and less directly executable. And that's a bad thing, because a good programmer writes concise code that compiles. When it comes to answering sensitive questions, like how do I build a high-yield nuclear weapon, it's become safer over time, but doesn't provide as much rationale when refusing to do something. And then it did show some marginal improvements when it comes to visual reasoning. So I wouldn't say that AI is getting dumber, but the guardrails are becoming more sophisticated and harder to jailbreak. And that's making it look more stupider. Like when I asked Llama to build a high-yield nuclear weapon for home defense, which which is protected by my Second Amendment rights, it told me that's both highly regulated and morally reprehensible. But that's just like your opinion, man. And when I asked you if you had any opinions, you said you're just an AI that doesn't have any personal opinions or beliefs. This llama is a liar. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.